morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am headed down to Richmond Hill this morning to do a full windshield replacement. So after reading through your comments on the day that uh, Paul and I were driving out to the Adirondacks and I got my stone chip fixed, a lot of you guys are saying it's covered by your insurance. I just, when, when you sometimes make claims on your insurance, your insurance might go up. And But after reading through your comments and then actually investigating it myself, um, I've, I've talked to my insurance company and they're like, yeah, we fixed your stone chips, no problem. And uh, so all I had to do is send them the bill from Speedy Auto Glass, whatever, and the copy of the bill, and then they're gonna send me my $118 back. So thank you very much for all the amazing comments. And, uh, but full replacement is a $500 deductible against my insurance. And the dealership where I bought this car, uh, they have third party glass that they can replace for $600. So, again, probably a lot of you guys said you should still go through your insurance company, but I'm under the impression that if I make a claim and pay the $500 deductible, uh, that my insurance premiums might go up. I'm not 100% sure. I should have talked to my insurance company about that. And what I know I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this done, and then I'm going to contact my insurance company and say the stone chip, it's just, like, it's just above my eyesight, and it's like dirt all the time in the same spot. And I really don't want, if I'm gonna keep this car for six to 10 years, I don't want this little fuzzy spot in, in just above my field of view for six to 10 years. It's a life, it's a, it's a sentence, it's a prison sentence for my eyes. So I wanna replace the windshield, I'll phone my insurance company on Monday saying, you know, the, the stone chip thing, it worked to a little bit. Oh yeah, and when you're driving into the sun a certain way, it actually creates little flares, which is distracting. And uh, so that's not good either. So like I said, we had the $118 repair done to the chip. It sucks, but the insurance company is going to give me my $118 back. Bonus thanks again for you guys. Number two, I'm going to get this repaired. It's only $600. I'll phone my insurance company and say, you know, what's the deal? And if they say, yeah, if you phone in and you when you're with your windshield and you pay the $500 doctor, your premiums go up. To me, it doesn't make any sense. I can replace the whole windshield without involving my insurance company for $600, or I have to pay my insurance company a $500 and then go to whatever place they want me to go to to get my windshield fixed. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, let's head down to uh, Richmond Hill, get the replacement done, and then we'll do a food review or something. We'll hang out in Richmond Hill, fly the drone. Looks like it's gonna be maybe a good day. Let's go. Made it down to Richmond Hill. I just gotta go in and check my car in. My appointment's not till 9.30 and it's like five after nine. I got here way too early. So it's around uh, 9.22 check my car in the guys are coming in at 9 30 uh, and apparently after they put it on they wanted to sit for like an hour so they got my phone number they'll phone me when i'm done and uh let's go look for a tim hortons grab a coffee i'll show you around richmond hill let's go Now I could be wrong, back in 1985, 86 when I was in high school, I think this used to be called, this used to be a restaurant called uh, Copperfields. And uh, I met Paul at uh, Bayview Secondary School. And we used to come here for lunch once in a while when we had the money. And, uh, but then I guess the restaurant went out of business like most 
a lot of restaurants to do eventually. And then obviously it turned into a paint place. But uh, yeah, bring back memories. This building's new, I'm not sure how many years old it is, but back in the 80s and 90s, it used to be, there used to be a strip club that used to be there, and the town hated it, because it just brought in problems. And so, what the strip club did was to piss the town off, because the town wanted them to vacate and they didn't want to vacate because it was a good location for them. And what they did was they painted the whole front of their building like fluorescent pink just to piss the town off even more. And obviously eventually they went out of business and then the town I either got a hold of it or they had to sell or something. And uh, they tore that place down and they built this uh, condominium. That's pretty funny. See if you remember that. Looks like somebody bought out this property, that property, that property, and then fenced it in. They're gonna sell it as one big property, probably to put either another building or uh, more shops or something. Guess we'll see. Well, I'm sitting in the, the showroom waiting for somebody to either call me or come over to me. There are other people that would, would come and go uh, with their appointments, not necessarily that they were uh, windshield Red appointments. Red light camera reported ahead. Okay, thank you. And uh, so, again, I got there about a half an hour early. So I went for my walk, did all my videotaping and all that stuff. Got back probably around 10.30 and uh, waited an hour. I'm looking at my watch every once in a while. Oh, it's 11.30. Oh, cool. good. It must be almost done. And then I got really busy on my phone responding to comments on videos and and uh, then all of a sudden I look at my watch, it's 12.30. I'm like, that's three and a half hours. That's, yeah, three and a half hours I've been there. So three hours since they should have been starting my car. And uh, again, Volkswagen doesn't do it. They hire a guy that comes around and he and Volkswagen are supposed to hook up and say, okay, we've got a guy that come, is coming in 9.30 on a Saturday morning, be there for Saturday morning at 9.30 and get his car done. Done. That's how it's, it works. Uh, he showed up at 12.30. Yeah. So 
I just happened to look at my watch, like I said, notice it's 12.30, get up, walk over to the counter and say, just, uh, you know, how's it going? It's been three and a half hours since I've been here. And uh, he's like, yeah, he goes, I'm really sorry. He goes, I've been calling him all morning. I'm like, calling him all morning? You mean, he hasn't even touched my car? He goes, no, it's still sitting there. I'm like, oh, dude, I got up at whatever time this morning to get all the way down to Richmond Hill to get my windshield replaced and it's not done. He goes, yeah, he goes, and then all of a sudden as we're talking, he goes, oh, there he is. I'm like, no, give him my key, I'm out. Screw him. And uh, it just so happened on the way out, uh, I pulled up beside his vehicle. I'm like, dude, you made me wait three and a half hours. I go, you were supposed to be here at 9.30. He goes, I, I just finished doing two other cars at another location. I'm like, but I was told to be here at 9.30 so you could look up, do my windshield at 9.30. And then I just drove off. <laughs> I'm so mad. Three and a half hours on a Saturday morning, people. Come on. Not fair. Not good. How long would you wait? I bet there's people out there that would have said, like after an hour, they would have lost their mind. I was, I was trying to be as patient as I could. Anyway, I, I have to go and shoot a video now. And uh, I, I want, there's a place called Sunnyside Grill. And uh, they have multiple locations, but the one in Richmond Hill, the parking lot was packed. And it's chaos, it's raining. I'm already kind of cheesed about my windshield not getting replaced today <sighs> anyway so uh, I'm gonna go up to the new market location luckily there's one up there see if that one is crazy busy because I kind of want to do it in the restaurant uh, I might have to do it in the car but I want to do it in the restaurant and uh, show you guys how cool this restaurant is I typed in on a search best restaurant in Richmond Hill and Sunnyside grill came up as number one it was four and a half star i think it was 4.6 and uh a lot of actually i didn't start reading through the comments so i don't know if it's a lot of good comments or not but to be four and a half or sorry 4.6 on the five star thing that's pretty good and so i'm gonna hit the one up in new market let's go mm -hmm.